Walter Stacy Keach, Jr., is an American actor and narrator. He is mostly known for his dramatic roles, however, he has done narration most notably for CNBC's American Greed. Also his works included The Opie and Anthony Show on Sirius XM, Satellite Radio, and in educational programming on PBS and the Discovery Channel, as well as some comedy and musical roles. He is also particularly well known for portraying Mickey Spillins' fictional detective Mike Hammer in a 1984 TV series. Mikey Spillins Mike Hammer, for one season and then a recurring series of television films starting in 1986. Keach is probably the actor most identified with the role of Hammer. Early life Keach was born in Savannah, Georgia, the son of Mary Kane, an actress, and Stacy Keach, senior, a theater director, drama teacher, and actor. His brother James Keach is an actor and television director. Keach graduated from Van Nuys High School in June 1959, where he was class president, then earned two bar degrees at the University of California, Berkeley, one in English, the other in dramatic art. He earned a Master of Fine Arts at the Yale School of Drama and was a Fulbright Scholar at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. While studying in London Keach met his acting hero Laurence Olivier. Career Theatre Keach played the title role in McBird, an off-Broadway anti-war satire by Barbara Garson staged at the Village Gate in 1966. In 1967, he was cast, again off-Broadway, in George Tabori's The Nigger Lovers with Morgan Freeman in his acting debut. To this day, Freeman credits Keach with teaching him the most about acting. Keach first appeared on Broadway in 1969 as Buffalo Bill in Indians by Arthur Coppite. Early in his career, he was credited as Stacy Keach, Jr., to distinguish himself from his father. He played the lead actor in the nude paper sermon an avant-garde musical theatre piece for media presentation, commissioned by Nonesuch Records by composer Eric Salzman. He has won numerous awards, including Obie Awards, Drama Desk Awards and Vernon Rice Awards. In the early 1980s, he starred in the title role of the National Touring Company of the musical Barnum composed by Cy Coleman in 1998. He was one of the three principals in a London production of Rent with George Vent. In 2006, he performed the lead role in Shakespeare's King Lear at the Goodman Theatre in Chicago. In 2008, he played Merlin in Lerner and Lowe's Camelot, done with the New York Philharmonic. In the summer of 2009, Shakespeare Theatre Company remounted the production of King Lear at Sydney Harmon Hall in Washington, D.C., which won him the Helen Hayes Award for Outstanding Actor. He has played the title role in two separate productions of Hamlet. In 2008 and 2009, Keach played Richard M. Nixon in the U.S. traveling version of the play Frost Nixon. On December 16, 2010, Keach began performances as Patriarch Lyman Y.F. in the off-Broadway premiere of John Robin Bates' acclaimed new play Other Desert Cities. The production transferred to Broadway's Boo Theatre, where it opened November 3, 2011. Keach is a founding member of L.A. Theatre Works and had held leads in many productions with them, including Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman and John Proctor in The Crucible. He was scheduled to return to Broadway in December 2014 in the revival of Love Letters at the Brooks Atkinson Theatre alongside Diana Rigg. But the play closed before Keach and Rigg were to begin their runs. Films Keach played a rookie policeman in The New Centurions, opposite George C. Scott. That year he also starred in Fat City, a boxing film directed by John Huston. He was the first choice for the role of Damien Carris in the 1973 movie The Exorcist, but he did not accept the role. He went on to play Kane in the 1980 movie The Ninth Configuration. Written and directed by Blatty, this role was itself intended for Nicole Williamson. Stacy Keach's storytelling talent as narrator was given worldwide exposure in the 1973 Formula One racing documentary Champions Forever.
The Quick and the Dead by Claude Dubioc. Keech played Cheech and Chong's police department nemesis sergeant, Stedenko in Up, in Smoke and Nice Dreams. He also appeared as Barabbas in Jesus of Nazareth. In 1978 he played a role of explorer and scientist in The Mountain of the Cannibal God, co-starring former Bond girl Ursula Andress. The film became a cult favorite as a video nasty. One of his most convincing screen performances was as Frank James in The Long Riders. His brother James played Jesse James. In 1982 Keech starred in Butterfly with Piers Adora. He portrayed a white supremacist in American History X, alongside Edward Norton and Edward Furlong. In Oliver Stone's 2008 biopic W, Keech portrays a Texas preacher whose spiritual guidance begins with George W. Bush's AA experience, but extends long thereafter. Keech also starred in the TV film Ring of Death playing a sadistic prison warden who runs an underground fight club where prisoners compete for their lives. He had also starred in the movie Planes as Skipper Riley, main character Dusty Crowfopper's flight instructor. He reprised the role in Planes, Fire and Rescue. In 2012 Keech had a significant supporting role in The Bourne Legacy, and in the 2013 Alexander Payne film Nebraska. Television One of Keech's early television roles was in 1958 on the syndicated romantic comedy How to Marry a Millionaire, with Barbara Eden and Mary Anders. His first ever experience as a series regular on a television program was playing the lead role of Lieutenant Ben Logan in Caribe in 1975. He played Barabbas in the 1977 Jesus of Nazareth and portrayed Jonas Steele, a psychic and scout of the United States Army in the 1982 CBS miniseries The Blue and the Grey. He later portrayed and is best known as Mike Hammer in the CBS television series Mickey Spillins' Mike Hammer and the new Mike Hammer from 1984 to 1987. He returned to the role of Hammer in Mike Hammer, Private Eye, a new syndicated series that aired from 1997 to 1998. In 1988, he starred as Ernest Hemingway in the made-for-TV movie Hemingway. In 2000, he played Ken Titus, the father of the title character in Fox's sitcom Titus. Cast members of Titus have commented they enjoyed working with Keach because he would find a way to make even the driest line funny. Keach lent his voice to the The Simpsons episodes, Hungry. Hungry Homer and Marge and Homer turn a couple play, portraying Duff Brewery President Howard K. Duff 8 and the Batman Beyond episode Lost Soul as an artificial intelligence. He also guest starred in a 2005 episode of the sitcom Will and Grace and had a recurring role as Warden Henry Pope in the Fox drama Prison Break. In November 2013, Keach appeared on the Fox comedy series Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the episode Old School. In February 2015, Keach started guest appearing in NCIS New Orleans as Cassius Pride, father of NCIS agent Dwayne Pride. Incarcerated for corruption, he is later instrumental in revealing a mole in the city of New Orleans and is rewarded by his son testifying at his parole board hearing. It has not been revealed yet if he has made parole or not. Narrator Stacy Keach narrated several episodes of Nova National Geographic and various other informational series. From 1989 to 1992, he was host of the syndicated informational reenactment show Missing Reward, which had a similar format to the popular Unsolved Mysteries at the time. From 1992 to 1995, he became the voiceover narrator for the paranormal series Haunted Lives, True Ghost Stories. Beginning in 1999, he served as the narrator for the home video clip show World's Most Amazing Videos, which is now seen on Spike TV. He currently hosts the Twilight Zone radio series. Keach can also be heard narrating the CNBC series American Greed. For the PBS series American Experience, he narrated The Kennedys, among others.
In 2008 Keat once again reprised his famous role as Mike Hammer in a series of full-cast radio dramatizations for Blackstone Audio. Keat has also read many of Mickey Spillin's original Mike Hammer novels as audiobooks. Keat plays the role of John in the Truth and Life dramatized audio Bible, a 22-hour audio version of the RSVCE translation of the New Testament. On January 6, 2014, Keach became the official voice of the Opian Antony channel on Sirius Satellite Radio. Personal life Keach was born with a cleft lip and a partial cleft of the hard palate, and he underwent numerous operations as a child. Throughout his adult life he has often worn a moustache to hide the scars. He is now the honorary chairman of the Cleft Palate Foundation, and advocates for insurance coverage for such surgeries. In the 1971 film Doc, Keach impersonated the title character, John, Doc, Holliday, who historians specializing in the American West believe might likewise have been born with a cleft palate. In 1984, London police arrested Keach at Heathrow Airport for possession of cocaine. Keach pleaded guilty, and served six months at Reading Prison. This was during the run of Mickey Spillins' Mike Hammer, which Keach also narrated in character, and impressionist Rich Little had to fill in as the show's narrator during Keach's imprisonment. Keach has been married four times, to Catherine Baker in 1964, to Marilyn Aiken in 1975, to Jill Donahue in 1981, and to Malgozia Thomasy around 1986. He has two children from his fourth marriage. He was living near Piasecno, in Poland, as of October 2014. Keach stated that his time in prison and the friendship he formed with a priest who befriended him during that time, led to his conversion to Roman Catholicism. Subsequently, he and his wife were able to meet with Pope John Paul II to have their son blessed since his wife, Malgozia Thomas E., had gone to the same school that the Pope had attended in Warsaw. He had a mild stroke in March 2009, from which he has made a full recovery. Filmography